is Gerson. This is a tutorial about High Performance Windows Server 2016 on VMware EXSI 6.5. First of all, we are going to need add VMware Parabitual SCSI controller and a VMware NVMe controller. For that, we are going to need a Windows Server 2016 ISO image. If you don't have it, you can download it here. You also need the latest version of VMware Tools ISO Image. If you don't have it, you need to download it here. Okay, let's begin. First of all, we're going to create our virtual machine on our EXSI host. Here I'm going to choose create a new virtual machine. Click next to here. Here I'm going to choose a name for our virtual machine. It will be 2016 high, high performance. Uh, the comp compatibility must be EXSI 6.5, which is a uh, 13 version of virtual machine. This is very important. Here in guess family, we are going to choose Windows and then we are going to choose our version of our Windows. Here 2016, 64 bits. Here is our data store. Going to click next. For the settings, we are going to accept almost all the full settings for this Windows Server. Here we are going to expose VTX which is the guest OS. Then here we are going to change the default logical size controller. We are going to click here and then choose VMware Para Virtual. Okay. Here we are also going to change the default adapter to the VMX Net3 adapter, it's the latest one. Okay. Here we are going to, to change our CD room to data store ISO file. Here we are going to browse to uh, ISO files. First ones are going to connect to VMware tools which you downloaded before. Okay. Then we are going to add another device. The first one will be another CD ROM device. It's here we are going also to connect to data store as a file, which in this case will be our Windows Server ISO image. OK here. Then we're going to add another device, which is our NVMe controller. OK. After that, we're going to here and boot options. We're going to choose the first views and the next reboot. Next. You can check everything here. We're going to set up here our power virtual. We're going to add on our VMware tools because the VMware power virtual here are our tools. Okay, this is why we will connect to the VMware tools here because Windows Server 2016 do not have the this controller, so we need to load this why we are going to install Windows Server in order to the view, uh, para virtual driver will be presented. Here we already created a virtual machine as here. I'm going to come here to the virtual machines, shows our virtual machine. I'm going to power it on. OK. 
can check once more if, it, if you need it and change everything if you need it. Here, I'm going to connect the console here. And then we choose the boot order to CD ROM first and then our disk. I'm going to exit and saving changes. Choose yes here. The system is going to boot. Here. Now you can see the Windows setup loading the files. We're not going to show you the Windows Server setup. It's not the purpose of this tutorial. Here you can see there's no disk on site. So what are you going to, to do for solve this problem? We are going to need to load the driver. So this is because we chose to VMR tools ISO at the first place. Okay. Here we are going to load the drivers. Here we are going to choose browse. I'm going to browse the the ISO is here. Our VMR tools. I'm going to expand the CG, then program files, then VMware, then VMR tools, and then drivers, and then para virtual SCSI, and then Windows 8, and then MD64. Choose OK. Here you can see the para virtual controller driver. I'm going to choose next to load the driver so the windows became able to see the hard disks. Load the driver. Here, after the driver load the windows, finally you can see the disk we created before. And choose next. And then we're going to all the Windows installation. As we repeated before, we're now going to show the full installation of Windows Server. OK. We're going to restart now. few more seconds to restart here Windows is starting I'm going to finish the process installation okay this is the Windows screen as you can see uh, now you, you must install VMware tools through here or through the ISO image we already loaded before because several drivers still not present on this installation like network driver okay so we're going to run we have our tool set up here after the setup several drivers will be presented to in the server new drivers okay Let's minimize this here and here click next and VMware tools installation. I'm going to choose typical, it's more than enough for our purpose. Choose install. Here, here is the VMware tools installing. Here you can see the network driver being installed. As you can see in, in, in bottom right of the screen, the Windows cannot see. Now, after the driver installation, you can see the network controller. Install the other drivers. I'm going to click finish here to end the, here. You can see the VMware tools icon. I'm going to choose yes to reboot server and load all drivers from VMware tools. Here's restarting loading again here okay now we are going to see in the device manager I'm going to look there here 
here. You can see the network driver. And here you can see the standard NVM Express controller and the VMware Para Virtual SCSI controller. This new uh, standard NVM Express controller is a new device for host boost adapter. Virtual NV device is a new virtual storage host boost adapter, HBA, which has been designed to lower I.O. overhead and scalable I.O. for all flash and new SAN and VSAN storage. I hope you have enjoyed our tutorial. Here is a finish and we are going to, to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching us. See you next.